Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan? Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan? How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsay pay for what he did. I promise. Good. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove, alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. Of course you can. You can write it, lovey. We know you can. You can, Dahlia. I know you can. Been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lord. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal, I'll but. Be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... Who do you think I am? I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. Yeah, Roderick. I know Maybe. you can. Gosh, she sounds like Hermione Granger at Harry Potter. The only thing she didn't say was, it's in your blood. Oh, dear. fuck me. Roderick! Oh, get up, Roderick, you big woman. Fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? Set. Go. That's it. <clears throat> Might Everyone probably will be that. so glad oh, to see you up. Yeah, they will. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. I suspect so. He has been at war. Okay, here we are. Garrett Tuttle, remember? He got banished by his uncle to the wall. So, this is where we rejoin him as he arrives at Castle Black. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruits at the gate! The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Glitch 
Talia's necklace. Is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. That's not your concern. Hey, I'm just trying to help you out. Well, whoever Sorry. you are, go see Frostfinger. He'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. So don't act all high and mighty with him. He won't stand for it. Well, will he not now? We'll see about that. We've, uh... Yeah. Garrett's just arrived at, the Black, at, the, at Castle Black and we're, we've already made friends. Not really. Let's go and see. We've got to go and speak to that grumpy old fart. It's warm. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. Again. Okay, let's go and speak to Frostfinger upstairs. Squire, serve Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either, Garrett Tuttle. How do you know my name? Duncan Tuttle, oh, thanks, Uncle. Man of House Forester. Nice. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on it. for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Okay, so... Oh, and Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Nice man. As I was saying, we're uh, kicking this off to a good start. We've pissed one of the recruits off and, you know. And last we'd heard, Asha was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say okay. he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasants. Let's get Roderick place. in there. Fill me up, would you? 
And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. <laughs> Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? And he's leaning on a girl. Oh. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, you Lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister now. We Who have business in the this? Great Hall. Yeah, we do. Fucking move, you fucking <laughs> fuckface. <gasps> that language is terrible. Go round. Move aside, soldier. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. And I don't think you are gonna make me. I wonder okay. what's weaker. Your legs or this house. So we have a bully, you do we? I am the lord of this house, and you will move. Yep. Get the fuck out of the way. Typical bully. Go on then, my lord. Stand up to them, they'll soon back down. Assholes that they are. <sighs> Let's go. It's ridiculous. You're treating them like guests. The wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Roderick. Hi, Mum. Hi, boy. Come, join us. Okay. I can do that. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dahlia's told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. He keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole I've told you! I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers! You should have been protecting your lord! Now Ethan's dead, and Ryan a hostage! And what have you done to get him back? Nothing! Because we have no army! I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, and we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one, then find me one, Sir Roy. That's no simple command, my lord. Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed, and our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! My betrothed is coming to Ira. Yes, my son. 
A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. She's always been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Let them go hungry. Yes, my lord. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Burial yes, time. my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's Thanks, good to thanks. be back. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Spirit Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Maybe she can.